13 days ago, Times Now broadcast visual proof of the Chinese intrusion at the line of actual control in Arunachal and the aggressive posturing by the PLA. Today, a report by the National Security Advisory Board member Sham Saran has confirmed India's worst fears. It's now confirmed that China has stopped Indian troops from patrolling at the LAC. A report by the National Security Advisory Board is a startling revelation of what's happening on the line of control where China is concerned. We have with us Salman Khurshid. Sir, the NSAB report has been submitted by Sham Saran. This is the second time Sham Saran is red flagging something that's happening on the Chinese border, uh, Indo-Chinese border. 640 kilometers of Indian territory has in a way been conceded to China. I'm not going to concede that, uh, that such, uh, this is a, a factual assessment. Uh, but uh, having said that, whatever the report has, has produced, the evidence, the arguments, the analysis and the recommendations, I'm sure will be examined very carefully as uh, it has come from somebody who is uh, held in high esteem uh, and somebody who within the system is extremely important. We will apply our mind uh, and, uh, and then act uh, upon but it. But you're not, you're not conceding to the report in the sense I'm you don't agree to the facts of the report I'm that it is... I've not read the report. How can I concede to anything? I will, the report will be read, analyzed, uh, absorbed, and then we'll be able to be in a better position to, res to respond to you. Do you think instead of Pakistan, it is China that is enemy number one where India is concerned? I'm, I don't think we have enemies. I think we have, we have countries that with which on specific issues there might be disagreements. But we also have larger relationships, and I think we have to see everything in its proper perspective. I don't think that we should uh, willy-nilly uh, label ourselves as being enemies of or having enemies uh, in our own region. Sir, or in, sir, in sir, sir, talks that had happened with the NSA and with our Chinese counterpart time and again, every time we've tried to sort out these issues, iron them out, but time and again we've seen whether it is Dalit Big Oldie or other areas uh, in that area. Every time we see that this issue is happening again and again. You've just seen a major aircraft landing at Dalit Big Oldie. Uh, see how important it is. Uh, we don't, uh, we don't uh, with fanfare announce everything, but it's important. This is both symbolic and substantively a reminder that we are alert, that we are equipped, and that uh, we will not be found wanting as far as India's sovereignty and protection of the Indian territory is concerned. In the future, one last question, sir. In the future, is, are we likely to be seeing more such steps being taken? A uh, 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 plane is landed there, perhaps better infrastructure coming up there? We have been working on in infrastructure over the years and I think that uh, over the past uh, few decades there's a vast improvement in infrastructure, ability to reach supplies to our troops in areas which are extremely isolated. But you know these are not things that we talk about publicly, we don't publicize them, we don't show them um, uh, in terms of a threat to anybody or in ter terms of of uh, uh, showpiecing it to someone. I think people who are in the know of preparedness uh, will be, uh, I suppose, uh, well equipped to tell you how prepared we are. But I would rather not talk in more detail about it. Thank you, Mr. Sanman Kishid. That was External Affairs Minister pointing out that where the NSAB report is concerned, he is not conceding to the details about the fact that 640 kilometers of Indian territory could have been conceded to China, but he is saying that yes, where India is concerned and our sovereignty is concerned, we will not be found wanting. This is Meetu Jain for Times Now in New Delhi.